Hello all, uh, today we will try to run our Angular application from GitHub using code space. I am just opening a repository, so it is having Angular code. So I am clicking on the code space, so it will open a container, a VM container. So by this code space set up the initial uh, stuff that is needed. And uh, once it is done, so the visual code space will be opened up. So as you can see, uh, our code's been um, just opened up, and um, so now it starts to install the extensions uh, which we have in our uh, local Visual Studio. So if we are done the sync settings, then um, the whatever the extensions which we have installed in our local machine will be installed over here. So here you could see uh, two things has been happening. One is the Node.js has been getting installed for this application to get run and as well as the extensions uh, which we have installed locally in our uh, VS Code editor is been getting installed. So we will uh, wait a couple of minutes for these extensions and the node uh, installation to get completed. So once it is completed we can see how we can uh, run our application so even without using our uh, local machine. So it's uh, a little bit faster comparing to our machines. So where you can check out the plans of the code spaces. Um, I'll up attach those uh, details in the description which you can check it out. So now um, the, all the Angular semantics and uh, the extensions which we have installed in our local machine is getting installed up. So you can see the progress over here. And still the Node.js is getting up. Up, uh, installed. So once um, every packages of the extensions being installed, we can uh, uh, try to run our application. So the ports has been enabled, uh, but uh, still uh, the Node.js is getting installed. So where you can see a uh, notification on the ports tab. So now we could see like uh, there is a change in the editor like where we can see the um, libraries or the extensions which we have installed is getting um, shown up in this editor. So the folder icons, the material icons which we used has been get refactored in our editor. So we will wait a couple of minutes to get the other things to be get installed. So once it is done now uh, we will see how to run this application. Now the installation has been completed, so now you can see like uh, all the new uh, packages have been installed. So now uh, we can just open our code and see how it looks uh, in this uh, code space. So since I've just uh, made a sync, uh, all the extensions which are having in my local machine have been uh, available in this uh, VS code space. I will try to run our application in command ng so it doesn't work. So we will uh, use the npm run start command. Now uh, you could see the application is getting started up. So now we'll see how. So if you are running it in local, we can able to see the application will be running on local host post uh, port three four thousand two hundred. So now here we we'll see what port uh, our application is going to run. So now uh, um, the compilation has been done, and now we'll uh, see try to run our application, we just open the code space and it's getting loaded up. Yep, so the application has been loaded and it's working fine. So without using our local machine, we can able to run our application from 
the GitHub code space. So even all the codes, uh, we can able to see it out here. And yeah, we can see the codes and the commands which we have done. So there is no change, uh, there is no difference between the local VS code and the one which we are using right now. So we'll just try to do um, some changes over here in the application, whether it works. So this uh, seems to be working fine. So I think uh, using a Git code space, we are able to run our Angular applications. And I hope you have enjoyed this video. We'll catch up in a new video. Till then, happy learning. Bye.